freestyling, one of hip hop's most beloved tests of skill. It separates the legendary rappers from the good rappers, from the absolutely abysmal rappers, or does it? Years ago, they tried to, years ago, they tried to put me in the, oh, this is a lie. Mm -hmm. Mission failed. Let's talk about it. So I want to give y'all an update on the last video I released. In short, it flopped initially. And there's a lot of reasons that video had poor traffic, but a major one is the copyright limitations from the ciphers. YouTube says these things do not affect visibility. In my experience, it certainly does. Oh my stomach is on my is on my arms. Oh my god, even though it's from, oh my god. And hey, that's a part of YouTube. Stuff like that happens often and we all have to navigate it. It's just the thing that irritates me about it is the person who copyrighted the video isn't even the one who owns the songs. I got a content ID claim from two different artists. Doesn't this artwork seem similar to you? Oh, I got words for you, man. I despise you. I wish you nothing but inconveniences for the rest of your days. I have all the food you eat taste slightly off. I hope you get a cold before your next vacation. I hope you Okay, so this is gonna be a multi-layered conversation. And first we need to establish what exactly is freestyle. Over the past couple of months, I've heard different opinions on the matter and there seems to be two major camps with some offshoots. There's the freestyling means everything is strictly off the top, every single time, no ifs, ands, or buts. And then there's the camp that believes it can be written and still be considered a freestyle. I admittedly was a part of the former group at one time. There was a time where I assumed that the word freestyle in a song title meant that they did it in one take. Growing up when I heard someone freestyling on BET, the reason I was amazed was because I couldn't fathom the amount of forethought that was needed to keep the juggling act going. And back in the day when we were all beating on tables and snapping pins during lunch, I assumed we were all making stuff up on the spot. But as I got older, I began to notice that wasn't always the case. Before we get all the way into it, I'm gonna add my usual disclaimer. I do not claim that my thoughts have their origin in the mind of greatness. This is just my opinion. We are talking like we're friends because we are. Subscribe. Now there's not much room to dispute its origin based off of old head accounts and the internet. Everything is on the internet, people. From Wikipedia, which is not the best source, but we work with what we have. Freestyle originally was simply a verse free of style, written rhymes that do not follow a specific subject matter or predetermined cadence. Big Daddy Kane seems to agree with this sentiment, saying, in the 80s, when we said we wrote a freestyle rap, that meant that it was a rhyme that you wrote that was free of style. Micah 9 added, back in the day, freestyle was busting a rhyme about anything random, and it was a written rhyme or something memorized. So if that's the original meaning, how did we get here? A timeline where most people believe that the word freestyling implies it can only be improvised on the spot. What served as the catalyst that led to people losing their appreciation for written freestyles? I personally believe it was one of the effects of people misconstruing a certain someone's words. But in a lot of our defense, by the time the majority of us here were cognitive, the term had already taken on a newer meaning. And I get exactly why freestyling as a skill became so prominent in rap culture. In an era where hip hop was full of monsters that could write today's top artists underneath the table, there needed to be some type of way to establish who exactly was the best. I just don't see why we didn't pick a different word. Now we got everybody confused for no reason. I hope you stub your toe today. I hope you interview for your dream job and they ghost you. I hope your dog runs away from you and when you find them, they keep running away from you every time you try to catch them. I hope you drop your debit card in the mall. I hope you drop it on the floor and you gotta do that little fucking finger thing because you can't get your fingers underneath it. I hope you gotta do that shit. Okay, how do I put this? I believe a lot of freestyles that we hear 80 to 90% are written and i don't think that's a bad thing i'm sure it saves us from a lot of trash but the chances of a rapper going to a place where they may need to freestyle and not preparing are extremely low the label wouldn't want you to fail the platform doesn't want to embarrass them and ruin their relationships and just from a business standpoint why would they risk people possibly not buying their next album over a verse they spit for free and i know it seems like i'm trying to ruin the magic for everybody but i'm really not i promise there are people that have an unnatural ability to freestyle anytime, anywhere, off the top. They're just 
that rare and they don't sound like these pristine verses that get passed off as quote unquote freestyles some of these rappers aren't technically lying they're just hoping no one asks and if someone were to ask they'll just fall back on the old definition of like it was what they were going for the whole time and that's where i feel like we run into an issue because the only problem i have with written freestyles is if you lie about it being written such is the case for troy ave Troy Ave got rightfully clowned for using a phone during his Sway freestyle. This is similar to the Drake situation, but at least Drake was holding that phone front and center. I'll give him that. Troy Ave tried to hide it like a coward. And then Sway moves the bottles. And the funniest part about this is even with the writing, it wasn't that impressive. Been had women in gold around my neck. Uh -huh. I'm a hustler. What the fuck you expect? I be records. That's a fact. I came through with the Harachis and matching hat. I'm that nigga getting money your flex. Also, you're a bum for dissing the dead man. I think some of us are underestimating humans ability to recall information. Rappers can and do write verses to pass off as freestyles for later. Then they go on Tim Westwood, Funk Flex on the radar, slightly adjusted to fit the beat and boom. And that's if they weren't already told which beat they would be using. But maybe you're not convinced. We can all think whatever we like. I'm just saying chances are pretty low. And here's some things that I look for when I want to see if a freestyle is written or truly off the dome. One is if their so-called freestyle sounds exactly like a verse from their album, i.e. same cadence and everything, it's written. Well here, I don't want to speak in absolutes, so it's more likely that it's written. Secondly, why is that artist there? Not a whole bunch of artists are spitting in an uncontrolled environment. So if they're on like The Breakfast Club, Sway, Big Boy, and then they're to promote an album, talk about an important topic, they're not going to leave that up to chance. Another thing, can you see this person processing the beat? If they're blowing past the beat, that should be a red flag. Are they using words they use often? Speaking about their usual subjects. Is there a narrative, which is extremely rare for something off the top? And bonus points if they are visualizing. I don't know what it is when people close their eyes and it's almost like they can see a karaoke ball bouncing across the words. But if they're doing that in conjunction with a couple of other things, mostly doing something that I like to call playing double dutch with the beat, they get in where they fit in, that's more authentic. But hey, if you still don't believe what I'm talking about, let's look at some tape from the man himself, Kendrick Lamar. And he is nice enough to do all the things that I'm talking about in one video. Initially, he spits a pre-written verse. Most of you will know this from Mortal Man. He begged and pleaded, asked me to feed him twice. I didn't believe it, told him beat it. Contributed money just for his pipe, I couldn't see it. And I'm pretty sure he does this to promote, but also I think he's warming up. And then he starts the actual freestyle. I'm kicking the wicked straight from Compton. If you come around my city, you'll get something. The neighborhood Watts at Long Beach. Boy. Notice the change in speed. There's no narrative. He's keeping the words simple, talking about stuff he usually talks about, TDE, Compton. To me, these are all the signs of a genuine freestyle. You may still believe those freestyles where the rapper never stops to even consider the beat to be off the dome and that's okay to each his own. Kind of the main thing that I was getting at here was a lot of these freestyles are written and that's okay. It doesn't mean they're not good. And also think some people need to ease up a bit because there's no need to be such an elitist about freestyle. If we go back to the diverging point in history that led us to this. You literally come in a studio and then formulate sentences in your head. Yeah. And then spit it to that beat. Yeah. And you never write down the lyrics. Never. You've never done that. Never. From I think that was misinterpreted heavily. He didn't even say that he was too good to be writing lyrics. It was really just something that he developed over time. He used to write lyrics and now he can go into the booth, listen to the beat and he maps it out in his head. He's not just throwing stuff at the wall. He's not going in there just freestyling off the top of the dome. He is writing in a sense in his head. But either way, he said, I don't write my raps now. People heard that and then all of a sudden nobody wrote this shit. And in an effort to pull ahead of the pack, rappers were planting their flag in the ground saying, I'm such a good lyricist that I don't need a pen and pad either. And then this elitism eventually spread to fans. And now we have people saying that if you can't drop a freestyle on the spot, you're trash. And I 
highly disagree with that. I do agree that freestyling off the top of the dome is more impressive when it's executed in an uncontrolled environment. I just don't believe that it was ever meant to be used as this litmus test that we've turned it into nowadays. And I think what really sets rappers apart is their ability to write cohesive, moving, and profound verses, or sometimes just catchy ones. To sum it all up, I think the chances of an entire freestyle being conceived in that very moment is incredibly small. More than likely, it's going to be compromised of like a bunch of unreleased verses and commonly used phrases, and that's okay. I personally don't mind if a freestyle is written as long as it's not implied that it's off the top. And I don't think it's worth waging a war against each other as rap fans either. After this, watch a couple of freestyles and see if you can spot the things that I was talking about. Or if you disagree with me and you believe that freestyling should only count if it's off the top, then let me know in the comments. This community is built off disagreements. I encourage it. As long as we do it respectfully, I don't mind. I hope every time you lay down and go to sleep, you have to pee. I hope every time you touch a piece of wood, you get a f***ing splinter. I hope one lens pops out your glasses while you're driving. I hope you find out your partner is cheating on you with your dad. I hope you find out your dad is your uncle. Lest you draw your last breath, I pray you have no peace. At all. Nah, but look, really, I should thank you. Because that moment, what you did, refocused me. Because in actuality, it's my fault. There was a pretty good gap in between my videos. I can't just come back from a hiatus and expect everyone to be waiting. That's not realistic. So the video frequency is going back up. The daily polls are coming back. If you want to join in on our collective arson charge, I'd appreciate it. You stuck around for this long, so you must feel like you belong here. I agree. You do belong here. Y'all be safe. <laughs>